Hey everybody out in YouTube land. I hope you're doing okay. There's Squirt. He was our Sheltie uh, that we had. Greg had him for 14 or so years and he was part of my life for four or five years before he passed away a year or so ago. And now we have Harley, our puppy that I'm sure you've seen in some of my videos. And if you're on Facebook, you see him in my pictures. If you're on Instagram, you see him in my pictures all the time. He's a Sheltie as well, and he is a doll baby. So, yes, I painted that uh, a couple of Christmases ago for my husband, or maybe last Christmas. I painted that for Greg a few Christmases ago. Uh, I did the chandelier painting years ago. It never sold and so it's hanging in my living room it goes with my decor so yeah and I've got that painting and that one up there in the corner those were some of my first acrylic pours that I ever did they're not the most beautiful thing but I'm proud to say that they're some of my first ones and I've hung them in my living room to be proud of my journey and I hope you are always proud of your journey so, what I wanted to just do is go over a few things really quick with you. I wanted to remind you, and I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but when you're watching a video on YouTube, in the bottom right corner on your computer screen, I forget what it is on the mobile device, but on the computer screen it's a little gear. And if you click on it, you can pick uh, closed captions. You can also change the speed of your video. So if you wanted to watch, say, somebody's video faster than what they recorded it, you can speed it up just a little bit. And if it's too fast for you, you can slow it down a little bit in that little, with that little gear just for that video. And then you have to switch it back to the normal speed for the next videos that you watch. And if you forget, you'll know when you start watching a video if it's like super fast or super slow. You just go and you change the setting back to normal on the gear. But I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of that. And then here lately I've posted a new uh, series of videos because I have over 700 videos. It's on the playlist, it's a, the beginning letters are D-A-R, and I've got, I think, 13 or 14 of them right now. And what I'm doing is I'm going back to um, original videos that I did two or three years ago of acrylic pours, where my videos were like usually about an hour long, and but they were some of my really great ones, like my uh, feather dance, video and the one that's really been popular that people have been watching the newer one that's just like a five minute video was purple scroll work and that original video was you know 45 minutes or so <clears throat> but i wanted to let you know that the, the fast ones that i'm putting a little music to and that i'm not really talking through the process if you look be below the video in the description box it will post the original video link if you do want to watch the full video in a much slower mode where I'm talking and explaining what I'm doing that's where you'll find the original videos just look right under the new video that's fast and look and it'll have the original video link and you can click there to watch the slow version where I'm talking a lot and explaining, you know, the, the different steps, which is what I always do in all of my videos. Typically, um, I like to teach people how to do the acrylic pouring, how to mix and do that, all that stuff. And that's why a lot of my videos are longer. So if it's a, an original one, first time, you know, video, I'm going to explain at least one color mixing and that kind of thing. So, these are taking the really fun, popular videos that I loved and a lot of people loved, my favorites and their favorites. I'm going back and I'm taking that hour video and I'm condensing it down into a five minute video and putting a little music to it so you can just watch it just for entertainment. And 
and I've had people say, I wish it wasn't so fast. Well, just look below the video and click on the original link and it'll take you over to the longer video, which was done several years ago. So I wanted to explain that and make sure that you knew that that was when I say Sandra's old time favorites or Sandra revisiting. I also have gone over 70,000 on my subscribers. Woohoo! It's taken me, I don't know, two and a half, three years to, to get here. Um, and I want to say thank you for everybody that subscribed. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to join my network of followers. And because I offer free products and free things, surprises, maybe a tote bag or, you know, something besides a print. And so uh, I would love for you to subscribe and please share with your friends and ask them to subscribe to my channel as well. But when I get to 75,000 subscribers, I am going to give away a free painting valued at $150. So I'll do a drawing once I get to 75,000 subscribers. So that'll be coming up in the future. Keep watching for it. Watch as the numbers grow. And when we get to 75,000, we'll have a big celebration party and I'll do something special. One person will get a free original painting of their choice. And it doesn't have to be an acrylic pour. It can be a pet. It can be flowers, a bird, whatever their favorite thing is. Fish, you know, you name it. So, um, and then the final thing is my latest tutorial is out. I do one every two weeks. And I just want to remind you, I've got the class is $35 for one class. Once you purchase it, you have a lifetime access to it. You can watch it one time or 500 times. You can watch it in the comfort of your home and paint in the comfort of your home with me step by step. You can have your friends over, you can have family over, and you can have a little paint party at your house and do it just watching my video. And um, you do not have to know how to paint or draw. I help you and I show you everything. So anytime you purchase a class, you get a materials list, which is always, I typically use Deco Art Paints. So I pretty much always use that. I always have my regular craft paint brushes that never really change. Um, I typically use an 8 by 10 and lately I love to use 9 by 12 canvases. I also use a canvas pad, which is super economical. So you can get a pad for 10 or $12 on Amazon and you can do 10 paintings out of that pad on a nine by 12 pad. And it's on canvas that's pre-primed. You just take it out of the pad and you can pop it into a frame and you have instant artwork that's framed. That's the really cool part about it. And um, I provide a materials list so you know what colors to use and what to have but that really doesn't ever change it's usually a pencil and a pen and a sharpie and um, tape the list of colors which traditionally I use about the same 10 or 12 colors in every painting almost unless I throw in some neons or something so a lot of that never really changes so you could buy a set of paints and do probably 10 or 15 paintings with that set of paints if you're just using them for regular acrylic paintings because you really don't use that much acrylic paint when you're doing a painting and then you get a traceable with every tutorial so the giraffe is the one I just finished and this was the traceable and you don't have to have special transfer paper. I show you how to transfer it the old-fashioned way, just with a pencil, and it's super easy and quick. It was something my grandfather taught me when I was a little girl. And here is the giraffe painting. Isn't that fun? He's, he, she, it's got to be a she maybe with a hot pink nose, I don't know. But this was done using about... 10 colors and I show you how to basically color in the shapes with paint and then give it some depth and highlights and that kind of thing so I really make it so simple for you 
I want you to learn how to be an artist. If that is what you want to do, I want to help you become an artist. And so I take you through each step, and then at the end we outline everything and do our final little you know, highlights and tidbits. And I'm going to put the quick little, it's like a five-minute video of me painting this at the end of this video, just so you can see a very quick example of a two-hour painting class that is chopped down to five minutes, okay? Just so you can see what it's like. And um, I also offer a monthly and a six-month and a year subscription. And with each one, you save some money. So with the monthly, you save $10.00. And with the monthly subscription, you have access to all of my classes. Like right now, I've got, I think, 36 or so. And I add two every month. So when you, whenever you do anything but an individual class, if you do monthly, a six-month, or a year, you have access to all of my classes while you're paying a monthly subscription or six-month or yearly access to every one of them. So you can pick and cho choose any class that you want to take. You don't have to do all of them. You're not graded. I want you to send me pictures if you want to of your finished picture, but you're not graded or you don't have to report in to me or do anything like school. You know, this is all about having fun and learning how to paint. So you do it at your own pace. There's no time frame. You have lifetime access to all the classes that you use while you're in my program. And then with the six month, it you get, I think, 25% uh, off. And with the annual, you get 30 something percent off. And so it's about 500 and something dollars for one year. And I throw in a bonus of a free original painting up to 12 by 12, 11 by 14, something around that size, $150 value. I do a custom painting for you when you sign up for the annual subscription. And you can sign up for, you know, a one annual year. And then if you don't want to do it the next year, you don't have that you're not forced to do anything you don't want to, okay? So I would love for you to consider taking these online classes and learning how to paint traditional paintings with brushes. And occasionally I'm going to throw in drawing classes. I've got one acrylic pour where I use fingers and things that's in there already. And so I'm going to add different things besides just traditional acrylic painting too. But most of it is going to be learning how to paint with paint brushes. So check it out. And uh, you'll watch the little quick video of the giraffe painting just to see how it goes. And I hope you're having a great beginning of your summer. I hope everybody's staying healthy, staying happy, spreading love. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.